Hello there. In this video, I want to go over the Comfy UI, how to easy way to install it, use it with recommended plugins, and just very basic information, how it's helped you to just start working in a Comfy UI and what is benefit of using this. Let's go begin first by install some recommended options and recommended it's some of the cases will be required of those DLL and the packages, as well as some applications that help you in the future to work with a different variety of elements. So first, you want to install Visual Studio Code. And here, depending on what version you have, Windows, Linux, or Mac. And this is straight, simple, forward installation. Just download it, click Install, and it should be installed. After this, I recommend to install FFmpeg. Many extensions will use this FFmpeg on a background to take your video, disassemble on images, or take series of the images and put it together as a in a video. Next, I would recommend for you going and downloaded Stability Matrix. This is a shell UI that combine a very multitude of the different type of stable, uh, stable diffusion applications and you can play with all of them but again because it's handled very well with the models and other access it's very easy almost single click installations and uh, it's what i'm going to use at stability matrix show how to launch however if you like to install um, comfy ui by yourself you can go to the Comfy UI on a GitHub, download it, and follow simple installations. Here you can see it's a few steps you need to do, but you can install independently. All of these links, what is mentioned here and showing, will be down in description. So if you need it, you can click on them and follow. But this video will be based with using Stability Matrix. Right here, you can see we have it, our information. You just go down and click and download your Windows, Linux, or Mac installation. The nice things about the stability metrics, you notice it is stand, it's run like application, so you don't need to find uh, what batch file run or anything. And as well, you'll notice it's all different type of the packages is available for you. I have it another video when I run to all of these packages and just look on pluses minuses. For now, we'll use it ConfUI notice right here we have it automatic 11 11 as well and all other ones now also when you run stability metrics it will check for the updates and if update for a specific interface is available it's come and tell you updated you don't necessarily need to update if you don't want it but notice in some cases library may be self-updating and then you will properly function if you need to install new packages you can go down below click on a package and it will open list of them. Nice things about this because each package as you're going over, it will explain as well explanation what package can do. You can see right here it's showing what it can work. This is powerful or comfy UI come to because it can run on CPU, NVIDIA, DirectML, can run on a AMD, Intel or Mac OS. So it can run on all different platforms which is make it very flexible and versatile when it can run on for almost any platform. I already have it installed this, so I go click cancel. When you're ready, click launch. After launch, you'll see screen come up where you're showing all the elements that will be installed. What I recommend for you install is additional components or custom nodes. Notice right here, I have them. Some of these nodes will be automatically pulled in if you have it first node installed and it's called Comfy UI Manager. This manager, it will monitor for the missing nodes, which we'll look in a second what is meaning. And if needed, you can pull them in and install it automatically. It's make life much easier. It is web-based interface for Comfy UI. So after it's finished launching, you can click on the link. To install manager, if you prefer to do this, you'll follow this link I have it above. If you go down to installations, this is you need it going to your folder. I'll show you in a second where it's located. Custom nodes folder. Copy this command, git clone, paste, and restart your comfy UI. The link will be located. 
in your uh, folder and notice right here we have a stability matrix folder inside you're going to the packages uh, let me move just a little bit this way we're going to the packages inside the packages you will find comfy ui folder this folder will appear after you install comfy ui through the interface next we're going down below and you'll notice you have comfy ui nodes right here and inside the comfy ui nodes you click on this go on the top and just type cmd or command this is will open command prompt directly in this path all what you need to do copy and paste at git and get the repository installed at this point i'm assuming you did have the git install as a repository if you do not have it you can also follow this link and download it for the operation system that you're currently using but you probably will have it or the um, installations of the stability matrix will install it for you and right now we're almost ready to launch however i would recommend you to do a couple or maybe a little bit more than couple depend on your appetite of creativity to downloads and this is really related to the checkpoints where you want to use it so we already look on the launch interface it just you can create it packages will look how you can install it checkpoints is next down and you notice as a checkpoints we have right here control net loras we have a stable diffusion checkpoints and vaa points as well to download them you can actually go in and search if you want it for this go to model browser on top you can type tag you want it also you can select what period you want it sort period model type checkpoint or all base model and you can clip search right now because i don't have it any words it will should pull out all of them for me notice this way my show nsfw content is unchecked so it's a clean images if for some reason you want to experiment with some NSFW content, just check this box and it will access all of the models. After you select, you can go ahead and click import latest, which will take this model and install in properly folder. The folder is a shareable, so it's nice about this that other packages or installations can easily access same model and you don't need to duplicate, which is safe for you space on a hard drive and when you start for first time applications you probably will see something like this screen notice on the bottom we should have it also manager available if you already install it we'll look on the manager in a second how it's work right now let's look over this interface notice this interface it's a node based and you can move around what does it mean node base each of these it's represent group of the elements or block of the specific code that perform specific task and we can connect these blocks between each other ones some of them have a just only output some of them pass through and another one just a output your output almost all the time in this case will be image or animations and maybe in some future it will be music or 3d so it's always room to grow for this pass through they will create some specific modifications to task and of course our input like right here this is the checkbox uh checkpoint when we want to apply to something or in some cases we can have it empty image in this case is a blank image or we can have it some source image that we start working available for us you can zoom in by using your scroll mouse or you can also zoom with the keys and if we zoom closer you'll notice for example on checkpoints you have these dots which allowed us connect our nodes to perform specific tasks as well in some you may have it drop down for any specific um, models the models that we downloaded before so let's go ahead next 
Right here to prompt, and if you work before with stable diffusion, you'll notice it's a negative and positive node. And usually if you follow this line connections, you'll notice this top one connect to the positive and the bottom one connect to negative. We also have it our model available for the sampler. Let's go down below. And right here we have it, our information on the image. Currently it is empty. It's just providing for us width, height, and how many images we want to create. So just basic information. You can create all this configuration quite a bit uh, complex. Our checkpoint, think about it's a reference for the artist. It's when you train your checkpoint, you put a set collection of the image which is will be compared to what image was created. For example, if my checkpoint have it only kittens, I cannot create the dogs because my artist that I'm comparing toward will don't have any information or don't know how to draw the dogs. So this is what important about checkpoints. It's your reference. It's how your model identify or how your application identify with image it created, does it look alike? So this is our checkpoints, that's why they're important. And next we have right here our sampler, and sampler which is performed take noise that created, and by denoising image, will compare with the library that you already have with the checkpoint and see it if it's follow by the weights in the category, if it's qualified for the of, with the prompts you're providing, if they properly describe this image. So it's kind of very easy model going. And after simpler, we heard going to decode, we have decode, and of course we have it to our image output where you can save in specific areas. So this is the simplicity map. So let's try, see if it's work. For this, we can go and select different models if we need it, and let's try run. So it should be fail right now, it will run. You'll notice it says validation v code require input is missing. So let's close this and look what's happening right here. L you notice. Nice thing about this, it provides validations and tell you which part it does not work. On this case, we need to take here from this model, going and collect to our node. Right here, we're going to just generate forest. Let's go ahead, click Q again. At this time, it's processing. If you're interested to see how it's process, we can go to our launch and we can watch what is happening here. Notice some errors come up before. This is because our VR decoder wasn't connecting. And this is nice ways to see if it's work properly. Keep in mind, if you run for first time, it's maybe take a little bit time. If it's some components or checkpoint is missing, it will try to download them. And when it's completed, you can go back to your stability metrics, output browser, and right here you can see it will have all these different type of the images will create for you. So you can preview directly here, or you can go directly in a folder if you need it. You can also specify, select the different folders. Some of them maybe will put in their specific directory and it's happening with animations I found out. Or for example, like CompUI, yeah, you can see right here is nothing because it did locate them in a shareable directory, which is kind of very nice in this case. Okay, now let's go to a little bit more fun part. Because if you look, we have it this nodes. And know some nodes that take a time. Of course, you can create brand new node. If you right click anywhere, go to add node. And right here, you have it multiple, you have it like utilities, simpling, image, for example, right here, we have it upscaling image we can create. Okay, just add image and add our upscaler, just put it between. So we can create, you can see with the nodes playing around and create very different very unique combinations. And if you person like me, I like to learn by examples. I like to see some very creative from people um, code, analyze how the nodes work and go forward with this. Beside Comfy, I have a good information and documentation on the nodes. I'll provide again a link down below for you. You can also explore in this way. For example, 
this website if you're going to comfy ui examples you notice right here you have it all different type for example image to image in page lower and so on but here's the interesting secret that you will ask how you can look because if we're going and for example we're going to let's go to this model right here we're going to this unclip model and it seems like do i need to open and copy by hand this nodes but it's these things is awesome but comfy ui because all information stored in output image so if we're going down right here and you see this beautiful image all what you need to do just save this image and code is actually as metadata inside the image so let me show you what i mean by this if for example we're going to and read iXF tool and we read metadata for this file and if we scroll down below right here we have a special um, variable called prompt inside this image and you notice right here all this information about every node that needed i also have a workflow or how those nodes connect in between each other and this is all store inside the image it's meaning any time when i'm going take any example information will be inside here and when i'm going to create and render my own image it's meaning that information of my notes will be stored there so what i need to do is just take image that i want to use it or nodes that i want to use take this image for example and just drag this image, there you have it, and drop it. And look what's happening here. All of these nodes certainly appear. And we can zoom in, analyze what, what nodes they're using and how they're connecting. Some of the nodes you'll notice have it in different boxes. Like, for example, we had one, two, three nodes, and they in one group. Group does not affect functionality of the nodes. It's only affecting how this nodes looking. So I just look and feel on this. And this is what I like a lot about Comfy UI because you have it right here, the way you can save, you kind of save nodes and you can learn by looking on examples. Again, more examples available on this page if you're going to Comfy UI examples and, and you can follow how to do. For example, what we downloaded, we download the SDXL example. But problem if we start running, it's one necessary will work because if we scroll down, it does require some additional model for you download it. Or it maybe require some specific custom nodes. You not always will have those custom nodes available. For this, we want to have it our manager. And this is what work help. So let's put this way when you first time loaded this node without you probably will notice some of them says nodes not found or missing node or some other information if it's happened to you you just click on a manager and as notice right there in the manager we have install custom nodes install missing custom nodes and it's what you want to click you want to click and it will go find those nodes bring back and install it so it's just a snippets of the code that you're using inside this is why we want to this manager because it will help us to manage and work with custom nodes. Beside that, you can look on all additional properties. It's here. Let's go ahead, close this. So this is kind of overview of the um, Comfy UI. And of course, st uh, our matrix, stability matrix, make it much easier to install it, to work and update with this. Your next step, if you enjoy this, I would recommend for you going to the checkpoints or actual model browsers and download it model browsers from here. Notice I do download it also control net and this is a useful um, extensions that you want to have it and install it. And in some cases it will require to install and pair package. So Pay attention with this when you install those extensions where they will want to locate it. But usually the stability matrix will handle this very well 
on a global scale. So it's meaning all other packages will access just to one shared installation. And of course, when you want to create different, you can different take different images, drag and drop. And you can see right here how it's already changed. Created for us. And I already do have it install all of those. And we can click. Notice right there, because when I click, I will have it some error come up. And if you just follow, you'll find out. So notice right here, it says, say sensor, it's not in this area. And it's probably because they using as example, and notice right here, they're kind of red. They're using in as example, specific nodes, specific, sorry, the checkpoints, which does not exist as well. It's missing two images. And if I go back to this, I'll notice right here, I have these two images that I need to download it. If I want to use the example, or I can link just my own images, and this is what we're using. And as well, you can go and go ahead and find the actually using different model. You don't necessarily need to use their model. You can go ahead and select different model, like as we say. And same right here, you can just go and drop different image, so it will change path. Okay, let's close it. And if we run right now, I should have it errors. One error is di disappear based on our checkpoint. But because I did not put it mountains PG or sunset PNG, it is give me this error. Okay, also we have it via point missing. So let's download it some different point that we have it. And usually just let's go with safe sensor for this one. Okay. And we can zoom out and see if any, nope, we just have it only these three errors. This is already fixed. Okay. And we're just missing our images. Actually, right here, I see another one pop up. Well, another checkpoint. So we can go ahead, just select that one. Yep. And now all what we do, we just miss it, those two. Images. It's one nice things, very visually, you can see how selecting. And definitely you can create quite a bit complex flow for your um, processing kind of images experiment. And the best part of this, it's experimenting with different structures, different things, and see how they all fit together. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give thumbs up, subscribe, share. This has helped a lot for creating new videos and have a